Okay, here we are again. Still the same morning. Checking out the farm, seeing what's happening right before I leave for Salt Lake City. It's a big deal to go to Salt Lake City because I never leave at all. Sometimes my wife goes to the city, you know, every couple of weeks because there's things people have to do. You got to realize that our closest gas station's 20 miles away. And if you want to buy anything in that town, you'll, you'll starve to death. <laughs> there's not much in that town. But anyway, here we are. We are in the corn patch. So here's the corn. The corn looks good. I'm looking for damage from any kind of animals in here. And there is some damage, but it's the same damage I've been having. And the sprinklers are going to sprinkle me if I'm in here for very many seconds. But we're having damage from birds. See right there how that's peeled back? Right there. They're getting on here and they're starting to eat the eat these down. Right here you can actually see the cob where they're eating down the, they're just digging in there. See there's bird poop right there. So the birds have been in here eating these, causing a real big, ah, oh, that was cold. Whoa. I gotta get out of here. Too early in the morning. But there's onions here to pick. Big beautiful onions. Look at those guys. It's great. There's potatoes from last year. Oh man, that was cold. Okay, so here's the tops of the carrots right here. They're being eaten off. And what's going to do that is deer. So that means I've had deer in here. We've had zinnias that are beautiful. We picked most of the flowers. There were a lot of them in here yesterday. Not yesterday, last week. When we had graduation for my 17-week students. And these are my sugar beets. So I have every other row, sugar beets and carrots right here. These carrots are going to stay here. And I'll grow a crop of carrot seed next year. So these will be here all winter. I won't harvest these. So that's a walkthrough of that garden. There's no new damage, but I do see that I need to get that corn picked. If I don't pick that corn, I'm not going to have any corn. Okay. What else? What else about this garden? Oh, I know. We planted garlic in here that... The day before graduation, I had my guys out here, and we dibbled holes in here with the dibbler, and we put garlic. So garlic went all the way through here. Now the garlic will start growing in the fall, and then it grows all winter. So we planted garlic all through this entire area, all the way over to, I think, the onion row. So that's pretty good. There's hundreds of garlic cloves in there now to grow us a nice big beautiful crop of garlic. But as far as morning chores, we're done. That was it, it's very simple. We simply wanted to check and see if there's new damage and there is a little bit more bird damage today than there was yesterday. It means I need to get that corn picked. It's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow from the city. I'll actually be driving home tonight, but we'll just have to, have to figure that out. And get that picked tomorrow so the birds don't get all the corn. So that's that. That's what I've discovered. Hopefully this helps you to keep birds from your corn.